Okay, R3F Pack. It's a React Scripts alternative. It's optional. You don't have to use it. I'm just letting you know that it exists anyway. Okay, so if you've ever used Create React App or just imported React Scripts directly, inside your package JSON, you'll see a React Scripts dependency. And if you keep it up to date, the number will be 501. However, React Scripts is no longer maintained. So over time, many vulnerabilities in its own dependencies have been found. So if you run npm install, it'll say eight vulnerabilities. Those numbers change. It suggests you could say npm audit fix force. Let's do that. It actually makes things worse. 131 vulnerabilities now. You can actually just go backwards by running npm audit fix force again. Okay, and that puts it back to the way it was before. Still problems. Now, it's debatable whether React Script having these vulnerabilities is really a problem or not, since you're just developing on development. And when you run npm run build, it's gonna create a production quality build anyway, which is gonna exclude most of, if not all of the vulnerable libraries anyway from your project, since many of the vulnerabilities are to do with some of the dependencies in React Scripts that you don't actually even use anyway. You can't really argue whether it's a real problem or not without putting many hours of research into your project but anyway what I've done is recreated a simplified react scripts called r3f pack now it supports much of the default behavior of react scripts for example serves a dev version on port 3000 what opens your browser uses hot module reloading etc it even supports typescript and also the last time I updated the code it showed zero vulnerabilities. So I'm going to show you how to switch to using R3F pack. And just remember that it is optional. You can change your mind and go back to using React Scripts if you want to. So in your project, first thing to do, uninstall React Scripts. Just right click, npm uninstall React Scripts. And we should see that disappear from our package JSON. Okay, so it's gone now. This is my package JSON. Now, just remember, if you used Create React App in the last 10 years or whatever, you will have a React Scripts dependency in your package JSON. So I've just uninstalled that and all the hundreds of dependencies it also installed in the background. Okay, next is to install R3F Pack and always make sure you install the latest version and I'm also saving in dev. So it puts into the dev dependencies node there. So right click, paste, enter. Now R3F Pack is a smaller install than React Scripts. It's much smaller and only supports the basic functionality of React Scripts. So that makes it easier for me to keep it at zero vulnerabilities. Okay, so R3F Pack is now there in our dev dependencies in package.json. Now to replace these scripts tags, I don't need tests and eject. I don't support those two commands. Start, just replace that with R3F Pack like that and the other one as well i also don't need this browser list section that is old and part of react scripts so the package json now is much smaller r3f pack two scripts start and build Control s now if i run npm install there we go found zero vulnerabilities okay so to start it npm start just like the old days when you would use react scripts which was part of create react app okay and then we go it's just a very basic little example for me it's part of my react 3 fiber boilerplate okay so there's that step i just did i just replaced react scripts with r3f pack like that okay now it also supports production mode Control c to exit that npm run build just like when you used react scripts from create react app it's creating a production version and it's putting it into the build folder Okay, so that was successful. Now I can test that in the browser. I tend to use something called HTTP server. So server.cmd, that's because I'm using PowerShell. Build, that's my build folder there. Enter. Okay, so it's serving on 127.0.0.1.80.80. I'll hold down control and just click that. It has opened that into a browser as well. So that's working. So it's designed to work very similar to React Scripts. And you shouldn't have to change your project structure, provided it's just similar to the default Create React app setup anyway. Also, if you do change your mind and you decide you don't want to use R3F Pack anymore, you can actually reverse the steps. You can actually do the opposite of what we did before. So npm uninstall R3F Pack 
then you npm install react scripts at latest save dev and then you do the opposite of this you'd put that back to that and that back to that and next time you ran npm start it would create the browser list node as well in your package json anyway so that's our 3f pack now it should work in existing react projects i've named it r3f pack because i created it specifically for my boilerplate branches here and examples on this website and it pretty much worked as a just drop in replacement for react scripts and that was the intention okay so just showing you that it exists it is optional and there are other bundlers available for react as well or you can just continue to use react scripts anyway thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe and share